All right, well, here we go again. I guess this is kind of a rite of passage for me. Walk into a park in the morning. So, um, girls will join me later. They are getting some rest. I'm going to Busch Gardens Williamsburg for the first time in three years, which means, yep, I'm going to get on Pantheon for the first time and see if all the hype is real. So this is a much shorter walk than Dollywood, but man, it is way more dangerous. There's, they don't believe in sidewalks over here in, uh, in Williamsburg. I can't argue with that. And there is the running of the Pantheon, I'm guessing. It's 10.30, we are going. Alright, so I just got my first round Pantheon. Might be my only ride, depending on how long the line is, but one of the first rides of the day, second to back row. First impression, very impressed. Awesome ride. Airtime where I wasn't really expecting it, sustained airtime, floater, ejector, uh, hang time. Just an awesome all around ride, so I'll do my full review later, but first impression is awesome. Next stop, let's see if Apollo is running any better this year than it was for me last time. did back row Apollo and that was a lot better than I remember it. It's still not like a top tier being a hyper, but solid top 100. So we were going up the lift, I saw Pantheon's line wasn't too long, but that was because it broke and they're actually being evacuated off the launch track. So that's, a, that's fun. So uh, all the people who are riding Pantheon are now going to flood to the other rides, which uh, not good for me. And this is what I was talking about. Here's the line right now for the Pesto, which will open in about two minutes. So I figure, why ride Tempesto? I'm going to ride its clone, Tigris, in less than a week. So I'm just going to skip that one. See what the back of the park has for me. If you look really closely on the launch track, you see the train still there. That's where all the people were evacuated from. So we'll see when they get this back open. But uh, in the meantime, everyone's going to be flooding for Bolton, I'm guessing, so I'm going there next. The line for Bolton is just not look open yet either. They're still testing it. beefs with bush gardens so first bathrooms hard to find drinking fountains even harder to find so that's something also uh the whole phased opening thing where you open different sections different rides different parts of the day pretty annoying so if you can get rid of that that'd be nice as for uh, for bolton it was awesome uh, kind of a short ride but no matter what you do that drop track will get you and um that helix right at the beginning is pretty intense so uh, when sophie gets here i'll see if she wants to ride it um, she might, it might freak her out a little bit, but I'll see. I mean, it's, it, I think she'd love it if she got on it. Helping guys to walk on.
like clockwork, Vader always has a line. Proceeding to the next available seat, pulling your harness down to your waist. So first, Alpengeist. Holy crap, <clears throat> that thing's intense. Uh, not super, in not super rattly either. Um, so we're just an all-around really good invert. Um, Mid-course brake run was not hitting as hard as it was last time. So yeah, all around, that's, a, that's like a top-tier invert right there. Invader, I'm gonna wait for Sophie for that one. The line is way too long for me to wait for myself because that ride's not that great. And Griffin, this thing is. That's how you do a dive coaster. This thing is fun. It has airtime. It's smooth as glass. I got no complaints, so uh, I think Griffin might be my new favorite dive coaster. You guys are going to see a beautiful part of the park. This whole area with Loch Ness and Griffin and Alpengeist is just incredible. Alright, I am now joined by Sophie, and her first ride of the day will be Loch Ness Monster. Sophie took on the Loch Ness. Oh, by the way, she also brought me my hat, which is awesome. Sophie took on the Loch Ness, and what'd you think? Great. Great. One word reviews are Sophie's forte. She's like a typical GP, so don't expect anything detailed from her unless the word is great, fun, or janky. Sophie, what's your favorite animal? Horsey. And uh, can you ask all of these if they like, comment, subscribe all my videos? I appreciate it. Amy, what is your favorite animal? Don't look at Sophie. I want your answer. Is it a monkey? It is, isn't it? So Amy's famous for her train credits, but this might be, actually it is, Amy's very first ferry credit. What do you think about that, Amy? She's gonna finish that and then we'll, we'll get going. I forgot to mention, it's really, really hot out here, so uh, this is a good, good plan. All right, we are full of food, and we are ready to ride a coaster that doesn't really do anything, so uh, that should be fine. We won't get sick. Invader. Exiting guests. All right, we just got Invader. That was good. Uh, better than I remember it, actually. It was a little more powerful, but also a little more rough than it was three years ago. Sophie, Invader, final verdict. Uh, part of my top two. Top two. See, she liked it even more than I did. Um, she didn't even put up with the roughness, so that's pretty impressive. What, the Dollywood? Today is a monumental day. Sophie, this is Griffin. This will be your very first B&M coaster. What do you think about that? Nervous? Kind of, not really. Not really? Good. Because this ride is just pure fun. Okay, so we just got Griffin, Sophie wrote it twice. Sophie, Griffin, what do you think? Uh, top three. Top three. I think that her whole top five is going to be Bush Gardens after, after today's all said and done. Yeah, 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 yeah. First time riding Finnegan's Fly. Well, it looks like we're doing Dollywood all over again. They uh, shut down this ride 
and probably all of the rides for now because of a thunderstorm coming this way. So we had a lot of stuff we wanted to do in the last three hours are open, but we will have to see if that's possible now. It was literally burning hot. Why? That's the weather out here as you just get used to it. Uh, so this is setting us back big time. I want to get one more on Apollo. I want to get one more on Pantheon. And I want to get the kitty credit. But this is a problem. I don't know when they're going to reopen Pantheon, but when they do, me and Sophie, we're going to get it. <laughs> Sophie just rode Pantheon. Sophie, what'd you think? Uh, I don't know if it beats Griffin, but... But was it epic and amazing? Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, that is the best ride in the park. And uh, I don't even think it's that close. Right, Apollo's chariot. There is nobody in the station because I think most people went home. But we're still here. Sophie's gonna ride her second BM, her first BM hyper. So Sophie's first BM hyper. I don't think she was that impressed. Sophie, what do you think? Uh it was fine. It was fine, you know. Barely made it on top. Yeah, Barely top 15. I, I agree with her. I think that I think that that might be the third best ride in the park um, behind Griffin and, and Pantheon. But I think it's time for a good like complete ranking of Busch Gardens Williamsburg coasters. So expect that coming soon. All right, Sophie wanted to take on Tempesto. That is what we're doing now. I want the credit. You want what? I want the credit. She wants the credit. What am I doing to these kids? Right, we're knocking out the credits in the last 45 minutes here. Sophie, Tempesto. Uh, fun. Short? Better than, than um, Apollo? She was. She did not like Apollo. I need to get her on a good B&M Hyper. Maybe Mako. <laughs> okay, so Sophie lucked out. Uh, Sesame area closed at 8 and it's almost 9. Park's going to close in like 15 minutes, but we got time for one more ride. And Sophie decided to make that. Pantheon. Good choice. If you're not riding at this time, please. Okay, we thought we had last ride. Whoa, I can't see myself. Okay. Anyway, I thought we had last ride, but we got back in line with one minute to spare. So this will be truly the rot knop. That's right, on the night on Pantheon. Back against the heavens at all times. All right, so that is a wrap on an epic day at Busch Gardens, uh, especially an epic last 45 minutes. Sophie, you love this park? Yeah. And Pantheon ranks where on your top 10? Two. Two. So she put Pantheon 2 right behind Lightning Rod, right ahead of Griffin. So I think Invader is what, number four? <laughs> so. No. Nah, she, she needs to do her rankings. Hopefully that's coming soon. After this trip, we will sit down and we'll do that. So. That is it for Bush Gardens. Tomorrow we're going to King's Dominion. I will be vlogging that day too because I need to get my rides on I-305 and get some new opinions on that. So that is a wrap from Bush Gardens. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.